More breaking news now out of Ann Arbor, where a deadly crash closes eastbound M14 right at I-94. We do want to give you a live look at the scene right now. This is from Sky 4, where crews are still continuing to clean up that crash. Here's what we know. It happened earlier this morning, right near Barton Drive and the Huron River Bridge. And this stretch of eastbound M14 is expected to be closed all day long as they continue to investigate. We have learned that two semis were involved in this crash. One person was killed because of it. Local force Nick Monticelli reports from the scene there in Ann Arbor. Good afternoon. The accident is actually right above me here in the eastbound lanes of M14. MDOT still trying to figure out if the surface of the bridge is OK. In the meantime, you can see that boom is still out there trying to catch whatever diesel fuel is leaking or could leak down even more because of the coming rain. Video from Sky 4 makes it easy to see, yet difficult to understand what happened on M14 this morning. A semi truck driver somehow hitting another truck rolling and then the truck burst into flames. The victim is burned beyond recognition. And a lot of those vehicles are, are you know, constructed largely of plastic these days, so it's not uncommon for them to burn down to the chassis like this one did. Michigan State Police are investigating what happened and hazmat crews were brought in not only to help clean the diesel on the road, but also the diesel that fell from the bridge. They put a boom across the river. Diesel fuel floats. So we can put a boom up at the top of, of the river and hopefully catch uh, quite a bit of it as it floats by. We are told the truck is from Canada and was hauling auto parts, but we don't know who the driver is yet. Traffic backed up for miles as there was no way to redirect drivers off the bridge. In fact, even rescue crews had a hard time getting there. Access was a big issue, of course, uh, because it was on a bridge deck, so our vehicles had to go and make a turnaround and come back to the incident. Now, as for the diesel fuel getting into the river, the hazmat crews say they're not going to know exactly how much diesel they were able to hold on to and capture until they pull that boom out of the water. In Ann Arbor Township, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. All righty, Nick, thank you. Of course, we will continue to monitor this story for you. We'll also let you know once F14 opens back up, both on the air and online at clickondetroit.com. We'll have both of the information, all the information there.